Chris, welcome back to the channel. Yes, I am still alive. Your boy G9 back at you again today. Thanking you so much for tuning in once again. Um, I do apologize. I've been in hiatus for two to three weeks now, and I know I've just been telling you guys new video coming out, new video coming out, but just stuff just keeps piling up, um, especially with this house renovating. Yes, that's my excuse, guys. I'm so sorry. Uh, I just got done finishing most of my front of the house. Yeah, that's what you get for buying a fixer-upper. I'm just pretty much rebuilding the whole, uh, the whole house all over again. So that has been taking up my time. And also, I've also been um, jump-starting my second YouTube channel. That's right, guys. Handling one channel was already very, very challenging. Well, more with the second YouTube channel, but... It's my passion and I love doing these videos guys and I love helping people out. So if you guys don't know, I've launched my second YouTube channel. Uh, it was a, a year ago. I really didn't get really serious into it until um, just a few months ago till I saw that it's actually gaining traction. So I've started to put a little bit more focus on that just to jump start it. We've already reached about over a thousand subscribers on that channel and and probably you guys have already subscribed to it i know you've probably seen it on my ig um stories um how my house renovating has been going but thank you guys for if you support that channel thank you so much guys and i thank you for every one of you who continue to support this channel as well and also for the second channel you guys are awesome Anyways guys, um, if you guys are interested on subscribing to that channel, I'll leave the link down below. It's called Fix This House and that's pretty much the other side of Geneva 9 and I talk about how to, you know, how to videos and it's going to it's going to be pretty big. It's going to be pretty nice. Um, I'm going to be having a second person in that channel. So I want you guys to stay tuned. If you guys subscribe to that channel, I'm going to have a special um, partner that I'm going to be featuring on that channel so you guys stay tuned but anyways enough with my gibberish and blabberish and everything like that i want to get this show started today i have these titanium strut bars if you guys have been tuning in with my ig my instagram stories you can tell that i posted these and at and it actually has been sold already so i'm preparing for shipment but i do have one extra one that i want to put on the evo and you guys let me know if i should keep it or sell it but anyways these are what they are yep they are the carbine titanium goodness unfortunately both of these have been sold already but look at this these are like feathers they're just like super light well that's what you expect with titanium but they are made in japan carbine strap bars and these are beautiful and I'll and I have one out already and I want to show you guys what they look like without the plastic on I want you guys to let me know if I should put it on my Evo or put the other one on my Evo and I think you guys already know what I'm talking about with the other one yes I do have two strut bars that I'm very indecisive what to put on my Evo um, obviously if I do put the strut bars on we have to take this one off my uh, BC coil overs and it's gonna be realigned and everything and I don't want to do that just of now just gonna put it on top and kind of see what it looks like and you guys let me know which strut bar looks best whether go just stick with stock the carbine or my other one which is yes that's right right here the Kansai service is that what he said Kan Kansai yeah but it took me forever to find this this is a used piece as you can tell i want to get this um repowder coated uh, as you can tell i am very picky on scratches and everything but this is actually in a really good condition for being used especially the kansai label is very well taken care of so we're gonna compare this this is actually a little heavier i think this is alloy or some sort of steel um, I think it's the same material as the stock front strut bar so I'm gonna put this on top of there and you guys decide which one looks best and we'll go from there but before I do that guys since I don't have my front bumper and yes and that's right my boy Mason from alternative auto body just got done um, filling in the holes for my license plate. I don't know if you guys tuned in to my very last video, 
but I did go and pick that up and it looks so good now without those license plate holes. Now I don't have to Photoshop those holes every time I post pics of the front of my car. But yeah, let's put that bumper on first and so you guys could see and appreciate how these carbine and this drop bar looks like with a bumper on, okay? Man, it's just been forever since I put on my front bumper, but I will be getting rid of this splitter, guys, right here. Um, pardon the duct tape, but I will be getting rid of that because um, I, I feel like it doesn't look as clean with with uh, with it. And I just be taking it off and leaving my charge speed lip. Mason did an amazing job. If you look right here, he actually painted my quick release bumper the same color as my bumper. Yeah, and he also, this is what actually, why I turned this into the shop. So he could fill in these license plate holes. And as you can tell, they are gone. But, he did keep the magnets in there. So once I get my license plate back, so stay tuned for that. Um, once my license plate comes back. Um, I'm gonna be it's still gonna be here and I'm gonna be able to take it on and off during photo shoots That's pretty much what's going on now. Let's go. Let's go and test fit this front Strut brace so that's right guys. I just had to have one of these carbine strut braces I know you've been, you guys have been asking. Hey, why don't you put that on your car? Um, actually, I do have one guys, so I do have one but I'm still debating on whether I should put this on or the Kansai service one. Let's go and test fit the one I have onto the Evo and see what you guys think. If you guys own this piece already and you can tell how beautiful this thing is, it's titanium so it is just super light. And I love the burnt, burnt design on it. And I think this deserves a quick cinematic. That, that made me drool a little bit but man this makes me that this makes it hard for me to decide whether I should put this now or the Kansai service but yeah let's just let's just let me let me show you guys again how light this thing is look at that this thing is just I can just pretty much throw this and let it it'll glide it'll glide like an airplane now that we have it on here, let's just uh, put it over. I'm not going to mount it yet because I don't want to take off my um, my coilovers and then we have to realign. So I'm just going to place it over. So yeah, um, don't mind this. It will fit on right here. This is just the MCS. Um, it will not get in the way. So if you guys are worried about that, do not worry about that. But yeah, it's just on top. It's not mounted. But just looking at it from top view, man, this makes it really, really difficult to choose from the Kansai or this. And I haven't even put that on yet, but that titanium just matches with the Archer Fabrications, that rad pipe right there from Archer as well. I mean, I, uh, I do apologize for this. I don't have my valve cover, but I can um put that on top too yeah there it is let's just temporarily put that on top so we can kind of see what it looks like all right ready to turn on the car <laughs> no i'm just kidding if you guys don't know this is actually my third time getting my valve cover my first one i 
I sold, I don't know why, then I got another one with AN fittings that I did end up didn't liking. So I went back and tried getting a new um, valve cover and this is was actually painted by Jar Customs. He did an amazing job on this bad boy. And he did this beautiful cherry, illusion cherry. Oh, this is a hard one, guys. What do you guys think of this? This thing looks, it, it looks good. It looks really good. Oh my. And I, lo I love how it matches with the white. So, okay, so let's take this off and let's see what the Kansai service looks like. Yeah, so the reason why this thing is very hard for me to part because it just took me I've always wanted a Kansai service strut bar and now that I finally found one Yeah, I can't part with it because it's just um, it Actually, it's original white um, This was actually came from the factory that color. So I'm thinking about Getting this repainted by Mason to fully match with my white um, color paint code uh, or Paint it um, Illusion Cherry with my valve cover. I don't know what you guys think. Leave in the comment section below if I should paint this cherry Illusion Cherry or just um, repaint it with the color of my body of the Evo. Just something about the Kansai service that looks really good. I love that gold um, label right there. And it just looks really good. And I know this is an OG piece. This is a lot more rare than the carving. And I, I kind of want to collect. I'm a collector's guy. And I think I'm going to hold on to this piece. Let me know what you guys think. Do you like the Kansai service better or the carving? So now we can go look and compare the weight. So once again, guys, this thing is again really, really light. That's what you can expect with titanium. My Kansai service one. It's a lot heavier because it is. Oh, oh, I try not to scratch anything. It is uh, made out of, I believe, alloy or something like that. But it is a lot heavier because it is, it is the OG version. I feel like that this has more. It makes the car more rigid with this weight. Man, this is a really, really hard decision: Kansai or carbing? Kansai or carbon? Which one? Which one guys? Which one? I don't know. Maybe I'll just end up keeping both. And yes, if you guys are wondering, both the Kansai service and the carbine are made in Japan. And it will fit the Evo wagon as well. Kansai or carbine? Kansai or carbine? Which one do you guys prefer on the Evo? Let me know in the comment section below. And that pretty much is about the whole video. Yes, I know it's a simple video. And I do apologize that it's, it's a very quick one. But I just want to show you guys what's going on with the EVO build at the moment. And let you guys know of my excuse. Which is not really a good excuse to be honest. But I will be posting more because I have all these parts that I still need to put on. And so little time to put them on. But I will do my best to get these videos to show you guys what's going on. And hopefully give you guys some ideas that if you, what, you want, what you can do with your EVO. And if you guys are interested on these um, rare pieces right here, DM me on my Instagram and let me know what you need. And I will do my best to try to source and find these pieces for you. And again, headlights, taillights, rally art parts, gauges, clusters, anything that you can think of, let me know and I will do my best to source them for you. I'll do all the legwork and yeah, and I'll be there to help any of you guys who are looking out. Okay? So anyways guys, thank you so much for tuning in once again to this video. If you liked and enjoyed this quick video, hit that like button and please press that subscribe button down below so that you can always be in tune with what's going on with my build, the evil build and for future builds to come. And again, second channel, Fix This House, I'll leave it in the description down below. Thank you so much guys. You guys have a good, safe day and keep safe out there. Stay healthy, COVID free. Okay, thank you guys once again. I'll see you on the next video.